I'm Jenna with Stalls TV and welcome to the Craft Corner. Many crafters and apparel decorators are working with small format vinyl cutters, also known as craft cutters. Whether it's a Silhouette Cameo, the Cricut Air Explorer, the Brothers Scan and Cut, or even the iCraft, each one is a great vinyl cutter to start out with. But now your business went from a hobby to a business that is thriving. Because this happens often, some questions that we get from decorators are, how do I scale my business? Or I have a fast growing business that I can't keep up with with all the orders, what can I do? Well, the first thing to do is to speed up your production time. Now, if you're working from a home uh, and you're a one person shop, or maybe you have two people in your shop and you may not want to add employees to your team right now, or even if you did bring on an additional person to help with that production, you still don't have the efficient equipment that will allow you to meet a sufficient deadline for your orders. For instance, maybe you're working with a nine by 12 inch craft press or a home iron to apply your heat transfers you made on your Silhouette Cameo. While completing orders with this process may be working for you now, it may not hold up for you in the long run for all those large orders. So it's time to start thinking about equipment that will allow you to get the job done quickly and open you up to a whole new world of opportunities. Now, I probably know what you're thinking. If I invest in new equipment, I'll have to put those things on hold to learn the new equipment and be able to run my order sufficiently. But there is a solution. If you're working with the Silhouette Cameo, the best solution is to upgrade your cutter to a Graftec CE6000. The Graftec is 24 inches in width and has the ability to cut anywhere from 12 inch sheets to 20 inch rolls of material. With this capability, decorators are able to maximize their material usage by ganging up designs on the material and also reduce their cost in waste. So one thing that Silhouette users love about the Silhouette is that it has the capability of putting all the presets into Silhouette Studio. So that's one thing that they don't really want to lose because they don't want to have to remember all the force and speed and cut settings for it. But the GraphTech has that option. The GraphTech has a preset feature which allows you to input up to eight different vinyl cut settings. So whether you're cutting flock HTV or smooth HTV, you can get the set speed and force for each and save those settings in the cutter for future use. All right, so here I have a 15 inch heat transfer vinyl roll. This is fashion film. And then this is one of the common ways that heat transfer vinyl is going to be shipped to you. Now, if you're working with the Silhouette Cameo, you're used to those 12 inch sheets that you can purchase from a local craft store. But this is where it comes from. This is how heat transfer vinyl is manufactured. Now, this is gonna allow me to be able to fit more designs and also be able to track my material so I know how many designs I can fit on a roll if I have a large order to run. All right, so I'm gonna place my heat transfer vinyl in the back of my cutter that holds it in place for me. And I'm just gonna feed this through. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack in the heat transfer vinyl so that I have the ability to track this. And I'm just gonna line it up with my pinch rollers. So now that my heat transfer vinyl is loaded in, we need to make sure that it's lined up with the pinch rollers so that when I feed this out, it doesn't start to go crooked and then I lose a job. All right, so the best way to line this up is to go based off of the lines that are here. So just like the Silhouette Cameo has a line so that I know that I'm nice and straight when I load my heat transfer vinyl in, so does the Graph Tech. All right, so I know I'm lined up with that line so I can go ahead and adjust my pinch roller over here. So these pinch rollers are completely adjustable. And I know when I can lock my pinch rollers down to hold my heat transfer vinyl in place, as long as my pinch rollers are lined up underneath these blue lines that indicate where my grips are. All right, so with the pinch rollers, there is a grip underneath that allows my heat transfer vinyl to be held in place. All right, so there's a little lever back here that's gonna lock my heat transfer vinyl down underneath my pinch roller. So I'm just gonna push that up. And now my heat transfer vinyl is nice and secure in there and I can send my job. Now, before I send my job, I wanna do a test cut. 
So I need to let my cutter know that I just loaded a roll of heat transfer vinyl in. Now that I have my setting back on the fashion film, of course we wanna do a uh, test cut to make sure that my force and speed are correct. So right now my force is at a 12 and my speed is at a 15. Now I know that to be the true setting for that just from working with the graph tech, but all of those settings come with the heat transfer vinyl that you order from stall. So you never have to worry about not knowing these settings. Now the reason I wanna do a test cut is because essentially I just cut glitter flake and that's a thicker material and it's a little harder on the blade. So I wanna make sure that my test cut is still gonna be accurate because my blade just ran a job with glitter flake and it could have dulled. So what I wanna do is do a test cut and I'm gonna click the arrows. So this indicates how I can get to my test cut. So all I have to do is click an arrow and then I wanna test my force. It says that my force is at one, is my number one, so I'm gonna click one. And it's gonna go ahead and run my test cut. All right, so what it did was created three squares with three triangles inside of each one. So that's gonna indicate each two, three different cut settings. This one is going to be 11, this one will be 12, and this one will be 13. Those each indicate my grams of force. So I'm going to weed each one so that I know which one is going to be best to send my job. So as long as you're getting a nice clean cut, it's gonna weed very easily. And then of course, I wanna weed out these triangles as well, as well so that I can see my cut line and how deep it's going. Another important feature of the Graph Tech is the blade durability. Now this is an important feature to take note of because this blade is going to work a little differently than the Silhouette blade. So you can see that my blade is just barely sticking out. For the Graph Tech, we want it to be out about a half of a credit card's thickness. So whenever I run my finger over this, I should barely be able to fill it and it won't hurt uh, by rubbing my finger over that. Now, whenever you're changing your uh, blade depth for the material that you're cutting, that's all gonna be done in the computer of our cutter. So I don't need, once my blade depth is set in here, I never have to change it again because my cutter is gonna tell the blade how, what force it needs to be to cut the material. So as soon as that's set, I can just push that in there and lock it in place. And my blade is all ready to go. Now, a couple features of the blade that are very important to know about is the overcut feature and the tangential emulation feature. Overcut is going to allow this blade to actually start at its beginning point and then end over top of the beginning point. So this is gonna make it very easy for doing uh, rhinestone templates and a lot of other fine detail designs. Our tangential emulation feature is really just a long word for letting us know that this blade is actually going to pick up in the cutter and do a full circle so that it's meeting all of its angles and points. That's gonna help with a lot of fine detail designs as well. So if you're cutting fine detail in glitter flake or flock, it's really gonna help with that. So the biggest difference between the Graph Tech and the Silhouette is going to be the motor that each of them run with. So the Silhouette Cameo runs with a stepper motor, which allows the blade to work fine, but it's definitely not going to work as fast as, as a speed as the Graph Tech will allow it to. The Graph Tech works with a servo motor, which allows the blade to have all of those features that we mentioned earlier, such as overcut and tangential emulation. It's also going to allow to, the blade to move much faster and smoother, making it more compatible with fabrics that are hard to cut, such as stretchable performance fabrics like Premium Plus, or being able to cut the depth of twill. You have all those options with the Graph Tech that you have with the Silhouette, such as 
uh, re reading registration marks. So if you were doing the print then cut features that the Silhouette Cameo offered with transfer paper, you can still do that with the GraphTech because it has an optic eye that will read those registration marks and be able to cut around your printed design. Also, you probably notice that the GraphTech is placed on a stand. If, you think it, if you're thinking that you'd rather work with a desktop version of the GraphTech, you still have the ability to do that. You just won't be able to feed your heat transfer vinyl through the back and track it as easily because it's not, it doesn't have anything in a desktop version that will hold that in place. So if you want to have the ability to do that, you definitely want to use the stand with it. So it's pretty easy to see all the benefits that the GraphTech has to offer and all the benefits that it could incorporate into your business when it comes to production time and fulfilling those orders quickly. If you're interested in learning more about the GraphTech, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out the training videos on StallsTV.com. I'm Jenna with Stalls TV and thanks for joining me in the Craft Corner.